guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be trying out all of the new makeup and skincare that I got from Sephora. So I have quite a lot of stuff to try out today. And if you guys did not see my last video where I purchased all of these things, I totally recommend go watching that. I am so, so excited because I got so many trending viral products as well from Sephora. And of course, some other things that I've been wanting to try out. So they gave me quite a huge bag which I'm guessing is because they didn't have any more of the smaller bags in stock. But the first thing I picked out is the Caudalie, I don't know how to say this brand, but the Grape Water. I got the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Kit, the Superfood Air Whip Moisture Cream. This looks so good. From The Ordinary, I got their Soothing and Barrier Support Serum. It is the Viral Pink Serum that's been all over everyone's For You page. I also picked out the Fenty Beauty Highlighter. This is in shade What a Brat. It is the pink shade and oh my God, it looks so gorgeous. I also got the Givenchy Matte Finish Enhanced Radiant Loose Powder. This one has, I don't know if you guys can see that well, but it has all of the pink shades. And I've been wanting to try a pink powder for so long. So I really hope I like the look of a pink powder on my skin. But next up we have the Lawless Forget the Filter filler <laughs> overnight lip plumping mask. I also got a mini hourglass concealer just to try out. I was gonna get the big size, but I also don't really know if I'm gonna end up liking it. So I'd much rather get the little size to see. And then from Makeup by Mario, I got the soft pop blush stick. This is in shade Plumberry. And again, from Makeup by Mario, I got their soft sculpt powder bronzer. And then I got the Iconic London Underglow Blurring Primer. I saw how this looked in the store and I just knew I had to have it. It looked so pretty. I got a mini Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. And finally, I got the Iconic London Super Smoother Blur Skin Tint. So we have quite a lot of stuff to try out. I'm actually so excited about this video because you guys already know me. You know how much I love trying out new skincare, makeup products. So I got a little bit more close up. Let's go ahead and try out the Lawless Lip Plumping Mask. I know it says it's an overnight mask, but I'm guessing it's really hydrating so I can apply this and keep it on while I do my makeup and skincare. And I also got the scent Sweet Dreams. They also had a watermelon one, but it was tinted and I really wasn't about that. And it's just so tiny. In comparison to the Laneige one, there's quite a big difference. And I think for Laneige, you get a better bang for your buck, but you know, Whatever. Let's see if this is any better. That is so hydrating. I love that so much. It almost smells like a Twizzler or like some kind of licorice. We're gonna go ahead and leave this on. And it also says it's plumping, so we'll find out later if it's gonna end up plumping my lips. And now we're gonna go ahead and go in with the grape water. There's no directions. I mean, I don't think I need directions. It's literally a face sprayer thing. Okay. Well, that's that. Uh, it smells a little funky, not gonna lie. And it just kind of feels like water. I don't really think you're gonna see any kind of results straight away, so. It feels really cooling though, and I do like that. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the Ordinary Barrier Serum. I've seen so many people talk about how hydrating it is and how good it is when it's put underneath makeup. I feel like who could hate a pink serum? Okay, so far it feels very hydrating. There's not really much I can say about it right now because these are the kind of products you have to use over time to see any kind of results on your skin. But so far it feels extremely nice on my skin. And next up is the Youth to the People Air Whip Moisture Cream. This I am so, so excited about. And of course I got a little mini size. I always get the mini size in moisturizers. I never just get the big size straight away. So this is an extremely thin moisturizer. I do prefer the thicker ones, but I feel like this would be a really good base before makeup and it doesn't feel heavy or anything, which is what I also like. And my skin feels really, really nice right now. So I don't have any complaints, but it's also not the best moisturizer I've ever tried, but it's good. And the first product we're applying is the Iconic London Underglow Primer. And look how gorgeous. And I like how it comes with a little dropper and apparently it illuminates your skin as well. It smells a little bit like chlorine, but it's not too bad. Wow, my skin feels fake almost. Wow. Okay. And it adds a very, very subtle glow, which is what I like. We're gonna have to see how makeup goes on top of that because if the makeup starts to pill, there's an issue in one or more of these products. So let's hope that that's not the case. 
And now we're gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I am so shocked that this is my first time ever trying this. I held off getting it for so long. I actually was not gonna end up getting this, but I was gonna do a video where I compared the dupes versus the higher end. And obviously I'm gonna be comparing the e.l.f. Halo Glow and the Flawless Filter. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a stipple brush and stipple it out. And the e.l.f. Halo Glow is good, but I don't love it because it is kind of thick and the Charlotte Tilbury one feels a lot more thin which is what I enjoy a lot more. And now I'm gonna diffuse it out with the Beauty Blender. I don't love anything too glowy, but this I feel like is not giving me any glow. I don't know. I just think it could be because of the blurring primer. Okay, I did kind of change the lighting a little bit so you guys could see better, but it did add a little bit of glow. I think I should try this again with a non-blurring primer just to see how it really is, but it's not caking, which is really good. Now we're gonna try out the Iconic London Skin Tint. I'm super excited about this one. I hope that this works really well with my skin, but it's also blurring. So I feel like my face is gonna look really dry, which is my fault. I should have considered that a little bit more, but it feels like full coverage, but this isn't caking either. So far. Now I'm gonna finish it up with a beauty blender. Oh wow, okay. It's very matte. So whatever you wanna call that, matte or dry. My skin looks very, very blurred. Usually in these areas of my face, you can see the skin tin or foundation in the little pores, but that is not the case here, which is really good. Okay, let's move on. Now we're gonna move on to the Hourglass Concealer. I got the shade Cream or Creme however you want to say that. And I've heard that this is the best concealer and we're definitely going to find that out. Ooh, okay. It feels almost exactly like the Charlotte Tilbury one. And you guys know how much I love that concealer. Okay, so far, I love how creamy it is. Everyone says how easy it is to blend and how hydrating it is. And they were right. Wow, that just, did you guys see how seamlessly that blended in? That is so gorgeous. Oh, but now we're gonna move on to the Givenchy. It sounds so fancy when I say it, but it is the pink powder. This is in shade three, Violet Rose, and I'm so excited. I see this powder literally more than I see anyone in my life. It's all over TikTok, everyone talks about it, and I was never gonna get this originally just because I already found my powder that I love, which is the Huda Beauty one, but I decided that I wanted a pink powder and they didn't have the pink Huda Beauty powder in stock. So I settled on this one. I'm gonna grab a clean powder puff and I'm just gonna set my under eyes for right now very, very lightly. I always set my under eyes first because they are always the first thing to crease no matter what. Um, okay. I mean, it's a good powder. It's definitely not anything astronomical. It's good. I do like my Huda Beauty one a lot more. I definitely wasn't wowed by it by any means. It smells good though. What? Okay, I was not expecting that. I was like applying it around my nose and I'm like, what is that smell? That smells great. But now we're onto the Makeup by Mario blush. I was expecting this to feel a lot more bougie. That's all it comes with. I don't know if you should apply it on the face because I don't know if that's gonna separate or lift off my makeup but we're gonna chance it. I don't know if I like that. Oh no. Why is it lifting off my makeup? Okay, let's try it again. I just can't tell if I like it or not. I don't know you guys, I really don't know. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with the powder and I'm gonna set the rest of my under eye. The product kind of got rid of every single makeup article I put underneath it. Oh God, I don't like that. I'm so upset. I don't like that blush. I don't know if it's the color I don't like or if it's the blush itself, but I feel like it just completely lifted every single makeup product underneath it, and I'm not a fan of that. That's kind of a bummer. But now we're gonna go ahead and try the Makeup by Mario Sculpted Bronzer. This is a powder bronzer, and oh my god, it's cold. This is gorgeous, so let's hope that this saves the day here. Oh, okay, that's pretty. That's so pretty. I love that. Okay, Makeup by Mario. You didn't quite slay with the blush, but the bronzer, the bronzer has a beautiful finish. Like, 
I loved the Hoola bronzer for the longest time and I still love it, don't get me wrong. It's still a really good bronzer. And this just looks very clean and beautiful on the skin. And when I put it on my forehead, it doesn't leave that harsh line like most bronzers I've tried do. That did kind of save us a lot, actually. So now I'm gonna go ahead and bake. But recently I've been really into baking. I used to never really bake my face that much. So I finished up with my brows. Now we're gonna go ahead and use the Fenty Beauty Freestyle Highlighter. This is probably one of the products I'm most excited to try. I've been eyeing it for so long and I never got it and today I'm just so happy I have it to try. I'm using a fan brush because I do like applying my highlighter with those. Wow, do you guys see that? That is so beautiful. Okay, I'm going a little overboard but it's fine and sometimes pink highlighters are a hit or miss but I feel like this is a complete hit. It's very glittery but it's also not just glitter if that makes sense and the glitter finish is so pretty. I usually don't even like glitter highlighters, but this isn't really too glittery. Like it has like the glow and the sheen and also the glitter as well. I'm so, so obsessed. I'm gonna go ahead and also do my mascara off camera real quick, but this is definitely one of my favorite products I've tried throughout this whole video. I did a very light mascara look, but I've been really into the minimal mascara recently. I don't know. But now we're gonna go ahead and apply the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Kit. It comes with a lipstick and a lip liner and everyone raves about how good the lip liner and lip gloss is or lipstick I mean that's so pretty. I really love that shade. I feel like the Pillow Talk shade is very diverse and can go on anyone and would look really good. That is so pretty. So let's go ahead and move on to the lipstick now. It is Charlotte Tilbury so this lipstick is probably going to be microscopic. Yeah. 30 bucks for that is kind of crazy. And look how tiny it is. It's also really cute though. So that's why it's so talked about. By no means am I a lipstick girl, but I feel like I just became one. I don't know, I feel like this looks really good. It's very subtle, but it's also so beautiful. I love that. And both of the formulas of these are very creamy and very easy to apply. And the lipstick doesn't feel rough or anything. It feels very, very smooth, and I do love that. But this is my full face of new Sephora products, and I actually really do love it. There are a few areas around here where I'm caking, and on this area of my under eye. I am kind of guessing it's from the powder because I wasn't caking like this before I put the powder on. So I don't know about that. But overall, I really do enjoy this full face. Let's go ahead and go through all of the products and I'm gonna give you guys my final reviews. The Grape Water. I don't really know. It does leak. Like the whole cap is kind of wet. I definitely would not say it moisturized my skin. It felt really refreshing, but the first time I used it, it just didn't really do much. The Barrier Support Serum. This actually made my skin feel so smooth. I loved the way my skin felt after this and nothing was pilling on my skin. I find that with a lot of ordinary serums I've tried, if I put them below makeup, my makeup will pill, but not with this one. And over time, I will let you guys know if I see any differences or changes in my skin. The Youth to the People Moisture Cream. I thought that this was a good moisturizer. When I put makeup on top, it didn't feel super moisturized and that I had a good base underneath the makeup. I don't know, I just feel like there's way better moisturizers out there and that is why I get the mini size because now I know it's definitely not my favorite. I will continue to use it because it's not bad but I've also tried way better. Next is the Iconic Underglow Blurring Primer. I definitely would not say that this was too glowy, but it was really pretty. My makeup did apply really nicely on top of it and all of my pores were not there, not visible. But the thing is with this though, is that it makes your skin so smooth. Like makeup goes onto it really, really nicely. Actually, is that why the Makeup by Mario brush didn't go that nicely onto it? We'll see. I'll figure it out over time and I'll be letting you guys know my final thoughts on it once I've tried everything a little more. But the Hollywood Flawless Filter, I really did enjoy how it was a lot thinner than the e.l.f. Halo Glow. The reason I don't really reach for the Halo Glow as much is because it's really, really thick and I kind of hate it. But this is a lot more thin and it adds a really nice layer onto your skin and it doesn't feel heavy or anything like that. I don't really think it added 
too much glow to my skin, but I'm gonna go ahead and try this with a different primer and see how that looks. Would not really say it's worth the money. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that out there. Maybe my opinions will change over time. Next was the Iconic London Blurring Skin Tint. This looked so beautiful on my skin. It really did. It blended in so nicely. And I did use a little too much of this, which I'll know for next time when I put it on, but it added a really nice finish to my skin. My skin did look very blurred and especially using these two together, it looked super pretty. The Lawless Lip Mask. I actually really did like this. This was one of the most hydrating lip masks I've ever tried. I do. Think that this is a little more hydrating than the the lin I can't say it. This is more hydrating than the Laneige one. There we go. Although the packaging is a lot smaller for the same price, my lips did look very plumped toward the end of my makeup routine, but very subtle. The Hourglass Concealer. This was actually one of my favorite products I tried in this video. It went on so nicely and on the applicator, it felt almost cooling. It barely took any time to blend as well. It was just a quick swipe and I was done and it just looked so pretty on the skin. The Givenchy Powder, I just, I'd probably pass. It's not anything great, but it's also not terrible. I do just prefer my Huda Beauty setting powder and I feel like that powder I will be using forever. The Makeup by Mario blush stick. Eh. I was really expecting something so crazy and just amazing because all I've ever seen on TikTok is this product being hyped up and it just wasn't anything. The packaging feels really cheap and it's makeup by Mario, so it should feel a little more bougie. Probably cost them like 10 cents to make and they're selling it for like 32 bucks. Anyways, I do like the shade. I think the shade is really pretty, but it completely lifted off my makeup that I put on underneath. It just wiped everything off. The Makeup by Mario bronzer. This was the powder bronzer and I loved this. This is so good. This is gonna be my new everyday bronzer. I just love the way it blends. It looks really pretty on the skin. It doesn't look muddy. It just looks really gorgeous. So this is a 10 out of 10 from me. The Fenty Beauty highlighter, of course, 10 out of 10. You guys saw how pretty it looked on the skin. It doesn't leave a shadow or anything. It just looks so nice with the light shining on it. And then finally, the Charlotte Tilbury lip products. I absolutely love these. These are so, so beautiful on the lips and you guys can see how pretty my lips look right now. I love the color. But yeah, if you guys have any more video ideas that you all wanna see from me, go ahead and comment them down below because I read all of my comments. I love to hear what you guys have to say, but I love you all so, so much. I hope that you all have an amazing rest of your day and I hope to see you guys all in my next video. Bye.